G'day subscribers and welcome to FJ Holden Jive Talking with Jules Knight. Tonight we're going to look at um, the things that hang on your car, the jewellery that you've got that sort of gives it that little bit of bling. And what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to talk about uh, hubcaps to start with. Now that's just one of the ones that came on my FJ panel wagon. Now this one is stainless steel. Um, so obviously, you know, it should be red in here. Uh, red where the little GMH is here in the stone that the line's rolling and then all of these little flutes along here they should be black and and then this was meticulously polished so that's fine so that's that that's the stainless steel one but you could also get this in in steel as well so you know I've, I've gone out and got a set of um, steel hubcaps because I like the idea of you know, if anything needs to be panel beaded and re-chromed or whatever is the case, well, I can do it with a steel hubcap, but I necessarily can't do it with uh, the, the stainless uh, hubcap. So I, I've, I I had three, and I probably got them about, oh, gee whiz, two years ago. I got a pair, and then I got another single, and then I've been looking around, and then I finally found this one uh, through asking one of the subscribers, and they were kind enough to... Um, to uh, arrange for me to get a hubcap. So I'm really happy about that. So uh, my FJ will have four uh, stainless steel uh, hubcaps put on it, all properly painted uh, with all the, you know, the right colors and all that sort of thing. So that will look really good. Now, in the spirit of, um, of jewelry on a car, what I wanted to do was, um, th this was, this was sent to me by the professor in in um, Adelaide and I'm hoping that you can sort of see it here we go that's a bit better now look these are scratch plates now I haven't found anything FX or FJ to talk to me about scratch plates to advise yes they were a NASCO item yada 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 now from everything that I know the they these ones in particular are more suited to the FX I see them on a lot of the uh, 48215 models, and they are smaller than the FJ ones. Now, you know, these, these obviously attach with the, the three screws that are there, and the same with the FJ Holden. Whereas in, in uh, with, with Holden and NASCO, I've definitely seen the uh, paint protection package from the, the FE, FC onwards. I, I had it with my HD X2. You'd actually have to slightly loosen the door handle and then slip the uh, scratch plate in it had two little tabs in there and they went either side of the, the front and the rear of the door handle and then just screw the or bolt the door handle back up and it just neatly held it in place so that was really good so that one from the professor in um, Adelaide thank you Mark he was kind enough to send th that through but we've got look this is for the FJ so um these ones are in, in uh, superb condition. So, you, you know, you can see it, it's still the, the three holes, this one, the bottom, and the, and the forward hole. Now, it's the same both sides. Now, a uh, red line and then black flutes at the front. Um, these are really good because they actually do protect your paint when people are opening the door and so on. They've got keys in their hand or fingernails or or whatever else these are really hard to come by um, when they do it's a little bit like winning the lottery and I'm uh, I probably took three years to find these ones so I'm I'm really happy I, w I won't have to go and get them rechromed or anything like that I've got a really nice pair they're both the same uh, so from that perspective you know the lion scratch plates are more suited or more prevalent on the FJ Holden you do see them on on FX's, but um, generally speaking, um, FJ has the line. FX, you see a lot of uh, the the smaller um, scratch plate. But like with a lot of things, th there's no right or wrong to this. I mean, if you've got an item and you want to use it on your car, good for you. As far as I'm concerned, now to complement those scratch plates, there's the bonnet bonnet plates now there's these little ones and you see a lot of them um, you see a lot of them 
and they'll, they will screw them either side of the bonnet. Um, I had I had uh, two each side on my on my FJ Ute, and they complemented the scratch plates. and And I, I sort of I really liked that. Um, I liked their style. So um, you know, I'm on the lookout for the uh, for the uh, little bonnet scratch plates, as is you know a lot of the um, FJ Holden fraternity. Now, in in talking about um, other accessories, one of the things that I've only really seen um, one of on an FJ before, and and I had it on, on my HDX2, but I'm um, I saw it on Junior's car. So you, if you look up uh, Junior's Ute, you'll actually see uh, this accessory. And what it is, it's a um, insect screen for in front of the radiator. So you can see it's 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 well made with um, steel mesh. Um, it's, it's very fine. It's probably millimeter. Um, it would be millimeter um, uh, mesh itself. Now it actually attaches either side onto the um, mounting top mounting points for the um, FX and FJ Holden radiator because you'll you'll remember, you know, they've got little rubber there with bolts, and they they actually um, attach that way. Well, these. S slip into this um, and then they are affixed <clears throat> excuse me with the, with the HD um, they weren't affixed they slid in and I could just slide it out whenever I wanted to whereas with the um, FJ you would actually have to loosen the nut to insert it and then loosen the nut if you wanted to take it out and clean it like for instance if you'd been on a long drive and and you'd gotten whatever rubbish in here so that's saving your radiator uh, from a rock or insects or goodness knows whatever else, but it you know I, I think for me that will that will do the job nicely. And when I saw that one come up, I thought, uh, you beauty, that is a terrific little item. And not only is it terrific uh, and rare, but um, I, I thought it'd do a really really good job. So I was I was pretty uh, happy to get hold of that, and I think that's a real practical accessory. So you know that that. I would. Th this is really one of the engineering accessories um, that that I would have thought should have been on most cars. Um, it would have certainly saved the motorist a lot, and particularly uh, Holden's in their day. And when you think about it, Australia was a pretty arid country. Um, this would have, have certainly saved the motorist a a an, an awful lot and been quite helpful. So I think this is the type of thing. From an engineering perspective, that could have been on every every one of the um, hundred and sixty nine thousand nine hundred and sixty nine FJs. So um, now, a uh, couple of little hints. Now um, I've got I've got a little little kit in this box, but what I wanted to do is just show people, like when you're at a swap meet, just be on the lookout um, for packaging like this. Now this was sort of a you know, original type of the day. Um, you never know what parts are going to be in something like that. But, you know, as soon as you see that, they, and then they went to another blue and yellow type package and then uh, yellow and black. So as soon as I sort of see things like that, and, you know, it's got the part number on the end and so on. But um, as soon as I, I see those types of colorings, that immediately um, gathers my attention. And I think I want to have a look at that. So from that perspective, um, you know, look out for the right type of uh, designs and package. And, and look, not for nothing. I mean, isn't that beautiful? I mean, Holden's really knew how to market. Um, and, and, you know, I've shown subscribers the Accelerator magazines and, and also the workshop manuals and so on and the good housekeeping and the owner's manuals. And the, not only was there stuff... Um, and documentation very good as far as their illustrations were concerned and their communicating, transferring an idea. But e even down to the the, the marketing uh, of a, a classic spare part, I mean, you know, that's really terrific. But look, before we go, I just wanted to um, show you one more thing. And, and this really came off the back of um, seeing some FJs, and, I've, and I, this, is, this is to do with a a light switch. Um, now, if, now you can see these guys when they've gotten hold of this one, they've just 
cut the ends of it and so on. But what I have seen is where you get to an FJ Holden and someone's been at it and they actually cut the dashboard because they don't know how to get the um, light switch out. So the correct procedure, and I haven't looked up the book, so I'm just going from memory, correct procedure for the light switch removal is to disconnect the battery first. And then once you've disconnected the battery, it's a case of pulling it on uh, the, the, uh, the light knob onto uh, high beam. And then if you look at the light switch itself, you'll see there's a little button here. And that little button can be pushed. Now this one's farm fresh and a bit old, but if you pull it to the high beam position and then push the button, I'm depressing it in, you should be able to just slide it straight out. So once you slid it out, then it's a case of just undoing anti-clockwise the little um, screw washer that holds everything in place. So that's the external on the in front of your dash and that's the actual switch itself. And then you'll be able to pull this out through the speedo head. So that gives you an idea upon how to remove the um, headlight switch. So it'll be disconnect the battery. Uh, if you haven't already got the, the um, speedo head out, good idea to. Uh, then high, um, a full extension of the um, light knob and then hit the button and out it comes. And um, you know, it's pretty easy to work. Anybody can do it. It's just like anything. It's a matter of uh, just a little bit of knowledge and you can do things without having to uh, chop it all up. But what I'd um, like to leave you with is um, uh, share, like, subscribe, but more importantly, enjoy your Holden.